alongside me for commentary this afternoon, as always, uh, is the club secretary, Craig Singleton. And, uh, right, let's go back to what we were talking about before. Yeah, get an exciting start, isn't it? Fantastic, yeah. It's been a long while in the offing, but we're ready to go. Um, like I said, I think you had a good look round today and you've sort of seen what a fantastic venue it is. Every attention to detail in lots of different areas and it's going to be a fantastic asset, not just for the football club, but for the town as a whole. So it is Chorley who will get us underway here on Hope and Glory on BBC Radio Lincoln. Chorley kicking towards the end with the terrace at the moment. That's the easiest way to describe it. Early chance for uh, Jay Rollins to get on the ball, get hold of the ball. Rollins goes to Mitch Rose to his right and then sets Tootle off over the halfway line. Comes the Pilgrims right back, goes forward into Thanodge. Just having to go back for the moment. Thanodge then looks to work the 1-2 two with Tootle. It bounces up into the stand. De Mayo back now to... Rose, he'll look to switch play from right to left over to Duxbury. Duxbury, good first touch from him. Can he now work across into the box? It's a decent ball in, it's across the six yard box. No Boston players there. It comes back out to Mitch Rose, who heads it out to Duxbury. Is he going to be able to stretch to keep this one in play? He does keep it in place. A decent ball in. Fulis gets a flicked header and it goes behind. It will be a Boston corner. Yeah, two good crosses from Scott Duxbury and the second one Jordan Thewlis nearly got on the end of and Lewis Bain is forced to concede the first corner of the game to the holding man in midfield Mitch Rose Tom Platt having a fitness test before the game but uh, or having some fitness work being done before the game but not expected to be back until next week here comes De Mayo, plays it forward oh just a little bit too much on the pass it was a nice idea good run from Jordan Thewlis to uh, to be uh, moving to get the ball and keeping hold of the ball. Ball with Duxbury down the left. He's going to drive to the byline. Looks to get the cross in. It's a really good one. Burrow was lurking. He's taken a knock to the lower back as he made his way through on the goalkeeper. Fulis. Chorley again clear to the halfway line. Duxbury comes in with a challenge. Doesn't win the 50 50 though with Connor Hall. And now he's racing forward down the right. Hall driving into the penalty area. Plays it across the box and it's cleared by. Shields for Boston, good forward run though from the Chorley man in Hall and it's their first opportunity now maybe to get a second ball into the box they're fighting for it in the midfield but it's still Tomlinson with a long range shot, deflects into the path of Crawl is he going to get the ball, he goes down and it will be a pass into the path of Crawl is he going to get the ball, he goes down and it will be a penalty penalty, penalty Chorley it was Fitzsimmons who was coming forward to try and get the ball off Connor Hall and we could see the first goal at the new stadium uh, and it could be coming from the penalty spot. It did look like a penalty, didn't it? Hall just knocked the ball past him and, and he brought him down. I don't think there's any further punishment coming in terms of cards, but Pilgrims could be finding themselves a goal behind in their new, in their new home. Yeah, Connor Hall, who made that, that run a moment ago as well, it was causing all sorts of problems. And, uh, it is a chance now for Chorley to get the first goal in this game. It's going to be Elliot Newby who will uh, take the penalty. So Newby with this penalty. Can he give Chorley a goal to nil lead? We're on the quarter hour mark. Newby steps up right foot in and puts it wide. Nil lead. We're on the quarter hour mark. Newby steps up right foot in and puts it wide. He's been generous. He knows he's lost the United's day. He's missed the penalty. Incredible. You sometimes expect your goalkeeper to dig you out of a hole, don't you, and make the save, but to pull the penalty wide, blimey, that's uh, a major let off for the Pilgrims, and it remains 0 0. Yeah, that was a really poor penalty as well, wasn't it? It was, it was one of those where it didn't seem to have been struck very well at all. And uh, yeah, it means that he uh, it remains 0 0 here on, uh, on Hope and Glory on BBC. Radio Lincolnshire ball with Rose. He gets dispossessed though in the centre of midfield and it's with Shenton. Drives it through to Hall into the penalty area. He goes down. Hall into the penalty area. He goes down. Another penalty. Oh dear. Surely just cutting through, weren't they? Shields forced into a bit of a reckless challenge in the end. This could. This could de deliver a card. I imagine it would only be yellow because it would make a genuine attempt to play the ball. So I think it would just be yellow. But have you ever seen anything quite like that? I don't think I've seen two penalties in two minutes, two separate incidents as well. So Shields is booked. And uh, here we go then. So Newby had the first. He's not having this one. Connor Hall is going to have this one. So Chorley, second penalty in two minutes second chance to take the lead Hall will step up right-footed 
He's going to smash this one and he goes to the goalkeepers. Right. He's going to smash this one and he goes to the goalkeepers. Right. And puts it into the back of the net and surely do have the lead 1 0. They weren't going to miss two, were they? Gift, really. Just had the reprieve. Steady yourselves, calm it down, and then you get cut through. Like the Pilgrims found themselves, Shields makes the last gasp challenge. Gets booked and uh, two penalties in three minutes. Incredible. Yeah, as I say, it was it was just one straight next attack, wasn't it? Really, that was the, the problem. It was one attack with a, the penalty, which was then saved, and the second penalty then ended up being uh, the second attack ended up being another penalty. Yeah, <laughs> never never seen a passage apply like that in a game. And, uh, it's. Uh, yeah, it's not good, is it? The Pilgrims find themselves behind, and surely have made a pretty bright start here. So far, ball into the halfway line for Chorley, racing forward. Now comes Elliot Newby, and the foul goes against the Pilgrims. And uh, certainly, it's the runners from midfield. It's, it's Newby and Shenton who have been breaking forward from that midfield for Chorley that have caused Boston some issues because they've just got a lot of pace, haven't they? Yeah, they're very effective, aren't they? They get the ball and they just drive at you. And United's midfield have struggled with that so far, putting pressure on the defence straight away, and realistically that's where both penalties have come from and, and one or two other attacks, so it's um, slightly worrying that it's all coming down the centre of the field. Andy Halls to take this free kick for Chorley, midway inside the Boston half central position. Halls chips it in to the penalty area, and it's come to nothing, it's going to go out of play and it will be a goal kick. Right footed forward, again it's a ball into the Chorley man in Tomlinson. His poor pass though is cut out and now here's a chance for Boston on the attack. Dallodge plays it through, can Dulis get there? Dulis over the bar! And it will be a corner, there was obviously a touch on it on the way through. Have a good chance for Boston, best of the game for the home team. Yeah, decisive breakaway, Thanodge. Just picked his pass at the perfect time. Thewis running in on goal, and I think it must have been a touch from Irwin who came charging out because referee right on the spot, given the corner, and uh, United very close to getting back level. Boston makes something of this corner. Thanodge to take it, right footed in swinger. Corner comes in, it goes over the head of everybody. Poor corner. Now play for a goal kick and Boston wasting another opportunity from a set play. Beats him, leading at Leamington by and, uh, through Thewlis, he's got on the ball once or twice and trying to make things happen. One, new, one United a corner there, a bit of good play, keeping the ball in. And Thanodge, fourth opportunity of the game now to deliver one of these corners. Corner does come in, goes over the head of Burrow. Burrow heads it back towards goal. Collision in the midfield! Oh! <laughs> spot and all from second you thought what a way to mark Boston United new stadium but the goalkeeper equal to it yeah brilliant he was uh, it was quite a comfortable save in the end wasn't he? he was right behind it anywhere else it was 1-1 but uh, acrobatics from Shields unfortunately didn't quite have the, the dream ending on a, a counter attack in particular so corner for Chorley right footed out swinger for the away side as they look to get their second goal of the afternoon corner comes in towards the penalty spot flick towards goal Boston still not able to play shot comes in and it is a second Boston still not able to play shot comes in and it is a second it is Scott Leather with the finish it's Boston nil Chorley 2 who says fairy tales always develop a losing start losing end to York Street it looks like it could be a losing start down at uh, the community stadium it's not a good start for the Pilgrims not able to clear the lines from that corner and Scott Leather leathers it home and surely lead 2-0. John McDermott at the moment is assistant. So free kick will be taken by Newby. Ball deep into the penalty area, headed away by Boston. Comes back out to Newby, 25 yards out from goal. Looks to work it onto his right foot. It's dispossessed by Thanoj. Now he'll look to get Thewlis forward. Virtually covering defend, defending. Clears it forward and then the foul the penalty area. Tutu throws it back to Rose once again. Rose makes the forward run. Hughes with a flick test. Goes in, goes oh. offside. Oh. Well, that was the route back into it. 
they really do with them before half time, but then it throws it forward. Nodded in by Thielus, but the flag was up and United don't have one back after all. Chip ball in field to Burrow, back out to Jay Rollins. Now here's a good chance for Boston. Rollins with the cross oh. in, it's just over the head of Thielus. Duxbury plays it back into the edge of the penalty area to Thalodge. Can he work a shooting opportunity? Thalodge still with it. Thalodge goes for the curl! Oh, just wide. And it remains Boston nil surely too. Oh my goodness, this goal to for the Cullens if they want them. DeMeo, like you say, um, at the heart of everything, a fantastic ball out to Rollins once again. How close was Jordan Thewis with a header? Uh, not close enough. And then Thanoj, a few seconds later, bends one just wide. So big, big moments, like I say. One back before half time would be so key in this game. Half played now, the two minutes of added time. Fitzsimmons goes to the edge of his penalty area to clear. Referee takes another look at his watch, and well, that should be about that. And it is. There is the half time whistle then here on BBC Radio Link to Hope and Glory, and it's not been the greatest first half for the Pilgrims, Craig. No, very disappointing. Not only did uh, Charlie spurn that chance to take the lead. And United gave them the chance again two minutes later with the second penalty. Crossover, mate. And then uh, the real sucker punch was the Scott Leather goal 11 minutes before half time when United were just getting on top. And then obviously United have ended the half well but not able to find a goal to, to bring it back really into the melting pot. No, so half time here then it is Boston nil, Charlie two. Second half then underway. Can Boston pull off a remarkable turnaround on their debut at the new stadium? Referee blows on his whistle, so it is Boston who get us underway. Back with the captain, Luke Shields. He goes long to Burrow, tries to flick it forward into the path of Thewlis. Certainly, I imagine the Boston manager, Craig Elliott, had a lot to say at the break. Ball played forward, looking for Thewlis. DiMeo comes in to try and win it, and does very well, and gets himself a free kick as well, and plays it into DiMeo. Can he create a moment for Boston? DeMeo looking to twist away from his man into Burrow. Rolls it across the penalty area, high up into the air. Headed away by Chorley once again. Newby should be able to clear it, goes back to his defence and then it is cleared long by Andy Halls. Headed back where it came from by Shields. The Chorley man misjudges it in the air. Duxbury plays it across the penalty area. Nice ball again from Duxbury. You have to ask at times, where are the Boston United attackers? Yeah, too many times today. Balls have gone into the box and there's been nobody there. Really inviting balls as well as that one was bouncing across at a decent height. Given away by Chorley into the path of Burrow. Now with Rollins on the right. Can he commit a man and get into the penalty area? Rollins going towards the byline. Gets it across goal. It's a shot on Thewlis. It's cleared off the line. Second chance now maybe for DeMeo. He's twisted and turning, looking to get a shot away. Still no room for DeMeo. And then he's tipped oh. over the bar. Good save from the goalkeeper. DeMeo outstanding, doesn't he? He's so good with his feet. Thewlis denied at close quarters, I think, by Birch, and then the opportunity looked like it might have passed United by, but DeMeo worked himself a yard of space, and Irwin required to tip it over, and this, this might just be the start of the onslaught. Aside from that, we have to do very little. Pulls of handball not given. It's Henley into the penalty area. He goes down, wins a free kick right on the edge as the shot came in from Newbiel's in the back of the net, but it's going to be a free kick about 20 or so yards out. Garner's now getting booked for a foul. Well, it looked to be a clear handball. Um, play went on, brought his man down, he's into the book. United have a potentially defining free kick to defend here, and uh, yeah, ball from a from a handball being missed, I think, against Henley. So, free kick for Chorley, just right of centre, right of the D. A couple of yards outside of the penalty area. Referee just marking the territory for the wall. What will they do with this free kick? The UA side, can they get the third? See it as game over, or will Boston live to fight another day and on the counter-attack? Free kick's going to come in from Newby. It's a good effort, just wide of the post. Yeah, I think Connor Hall's off and on free kicks, but he's gone off. Newby crashed that in left-footed. Didn't look to be too far wide. Coming on, Duxbury still with it. Can he... Work out across Duxbury with the right footed ball into the box. Easy gallop for Owen once again. Yeah, good intention, but no, then put up too close to a goalkeeper of Matt Owen's quality. He wasn't going to struggle with that. And uh, Paul Green is coming on, just trying to see the board, but he's obviously going to come over on this side, so you may as well sacrifice one of your 
defenders to give it a real good go in these last 10 minutes. Tootle with it over the halfway line again. Burrow looks to win the flick on. Green can't get there, but it's broke for Thewlis. Green's made a forward run. Thewlis into the penalty area. Thewlis still with it. Again, his decision making isn't correct, but Thewlis wins it back, spins past his man, goes into the penalty area. Again, he gets dispossessed. Goes back to Duxbury on the halfway line. Duxbury going across. Tootle having to sprint to try and keep that one in play. Slides in to the challenge. Will be a Boston throw. Not what he wanted, was he? He knew he was going to get crunched, but he had to make the challenge. Tomlinson still with it. Twisted, turning off, goes past two Boston players with these. Tomlinson looking for the third place and it over. He did well, didn't he? Luke Shields is on tenterhooks because he's on a booking. Not only is he thinking about it today, he's thinking about I don't want to be suspended for Chester next week. So he's struggling to commit to a challenge, and Tomlinson did very well to weave his way into the box, but his finish was. Sadly lacking from a Chorley point of view. It's Leamington. It's uh, Chorley now moved forward with Tomlinson. He's offside. Yeah. Well, offside. He chips it into the back of the net. What's the York score? Are they two? Uh, York one two one. Oh, okay. In the end. So yeah, York another one. Sorry, one. Fitzsimmons then to take this goal kick, and that will be about that. He's playing on here, isn't he? And there is the full time whistle. It is a victory for Chorley. It's not the afternoon Boston United wanted.